Today we will talk about Mr. Beast. A few days ago, Mr. Beast uploaded a new video and a screenshot went viral that Mr. Beast's new video got 2 million dislikes due to his recent controversies. And now recently a Mr. Beast team member, Chucky, shared a YouTube studio screen recording and there we can see that even their new video doesn't have 1 lakh dislikes. And now a YouTuber, Rosanna Pansino, made serious allegations about Mr. Beast's team that Jimmy's production team took every contestant's underwear and medicine from them for some weird reason. They were told they would be given back each night to change but we're not. Multiple female contestant messaged me saying that Beast Games still has her underwear, and in proof of that, she posted a New York Times article and said many contestants have made the same allegations. Although these allegations are bizarre, let's see what Mr. Beast replies. Now moving forward, let's talk about Amp Agent. Recently he was streaming, and during his live stream, he just got into a car accident. You can see the video also. Whoa! Whoa! Nah, come on, no. nigga. Oh. No, today is just a bad day. Now moving to the next update, Logan Paul filed a suit against CoffeeZilla, who is an investigative YouTuber, had exposed Logan Paul crypto scam, and after that, Logan Paul said, sorry, but now CoffeeZilla exposed his another project and made allegations on him and texted him for respond in 24 hours. So in respond to that, Logan Paul filed suit against him. You see, only hours before this lawsuit was filed, I had reached out to Logan Paul about a new investigation into one of his companies, which has just been accused by the Canadian government of being a multi-layered fraud in Canada. I obviously had questions, but before I was able to get answers, Logan's team of lawyers showed up to silence me. We're going to talk about now moving forward, TikToker Meredith Brown is accusing UFC champion Alex Perreria of alleged rape. She hasn't posted any solid evidence, but shares her alleged account across multiple TikTok posts. I tried to put it in, but I was nervous, so I couldn't. So he did it, and he put it in my ass, and then he assaulted me. And Flawzilla said, nope, go to the cops, not the internet, nigga. Otherwise, you just trying to get attention. And most people are saying the same thing on the internet. Anyways, moving next, Aiden Ross streams with Donald Trump, and Aiden Ross breaks all his records. One time, 550 viewers were watching the stream. Also, Aiden Ross gifted Donald Trump with a Rolex watch and a Tesla Cybertruck. You can see it in clips. Sure. Check out this rapper. Let me know your honest thoughts. I, I think it's incredible. In a recent video, Faze Lacey attempts to defend why working a nine to five job is easier than streaming. Here's the thing. I genuinely think that streaming is harder than an actual job. And I'm gonna tell you why right now. Go ahead and laugh at me, go ahead and laugh. I'm gonna tell you right now why streaming is harder than a normal job. Tell me it's not harder to have to fly 17 hours all the way out to Japan have jet lag, be tired. Then when you get here, you have to walk around in the hot sun, 100 degrees out, sun beating down on you, you're sweating, you're tired, you're hungry, and then you have to stream yourself like shopping for clothes and going shopping for like six, eight hours a day, bro. What do you guys think? Share your opinion in the comment section. Moving to the next, I shall speed faced criticism for his recent video in which he jumps over his car, but after that he shared another video of him zooming over two cars, one after another. And there is a streamer still thinks speed jumps over two car is fake and edited. I should speed just jump two Lambos in a row. Uh, that's all CGI or not CGI, like just uh, edited. You know, it's just, it's just, it's called masking. After this, the streamer Nick A30 fakes a car jump to mock speed stunt. Okay, watch this. First time ever doing it. Yeah, yeah, come, come. But for jumping over a car on stream, iShowSpeed has been temporarily banned from streaming on YouTube. 